Hey everyone, this is a follow up to my Ouya console and controller unboxing in 2025 video where I said that I was going to show you how to jailbreak the Ouya. And it is very, very simple. So the first thing that you will need to do is to just go ahead and get your power connected to your Ouya and then plug in an Ethernet cable if you've got one. Otherwise, just make sure your Ouya console is connected via wireless to the internet. And then plug in a micro USB cable in the back to a PC. Obviously, a Windows computer is going to be the easiest way to get this done. And then from there, go ahead and plug your HDMI into your television because we're going to get this system jailbroken in just a matter of minutes. Okay, so on a Windows computer, PowerShell is automatically installed by default. So you just will want to click on the start button and then just search for the app called PowerShell. And it does not matter if you run this in administrator mode or not. Then you will want to run this command right here. And don't worry, it will be in the description of this video. So from here, you want to press the enter button. And at this point, it will tell you whether or not it connected successfully or not. Now, mine is currently connected, and it does show that I do have the Ouya server, which is mapped to the community server. Yours will probably be in red over the first run. And what you need to do is you need to take option number two here. And at this point, you should have the community server set. Now, you can run number one here just to recheck it again. But at this point, you should be on the community server, which means that when you download things, it is going to work. The next option that you will need to take is number six, which is root the Ouya. So press number six. It should be successfully rooted. Now, you can press option number five to just go ahead and double check from there. And it does state here that root is working and that the Ouya root has the main community super user binary. Now, the other thing that you will need to run is going to be option number seven here, which is going to unlock all the Ouya games and pretty much get rid of all of the DRM. Now, I'm not going to show you going through that step by step, but I will call out that it will ask you at some point to open up this application right here. Okay, once that is complete, you might want to pick option number eight, but if you do, just keep in mind, you will have to reset everything on the system back to the default. An easier way to check to see if you are on the latest official firmware is to go into number nine here and get an OUYA ADB shell. And then from here, you can just type in get prop. And this is getting the properties. And if we scroll up here, we can find the ro.ouya.version is set to 1.21427-R1. Now, if yours says this right here, then you are on the very latest firmware. Otherwise, you probably should take that option to update the firmware because it will update it to this one. Now, you will need a keyboard on your Ouya if you're going to do it that way. And there's a few other things that you might have to do. Now, I will say here that there is tons of different properties that you can sort through when you can get statuses if they're running or they're stopped. And you do not have to wade through a whole bunch of these strings here. What you could do is just select this. And in this example, we can type git prop and we're just going to paste that in there. And that command right there will get us the Ouya version. So at this point, we are done with our ADB shell. So we're just going to type exit here and well, you should be completely done and ready to go. So 
The only other thing you'll need to do at this point is just type in number 15 and start enjoying the Ouya and all of the games that it has to offer. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael.